tell me I'm hearing things. Did Erica just say she wants to go to prison right away? That's what she said. What are you up to, Erica? Miss Kane, is this your final decision to start your six-month sentence today? Your Honor, if yes, I Yes, Your a Honor. Word, my... You heard me correctly. I'd like to start serving my time immediately. Do you wish to discuss the matter with counsel first? No, that's not necessary. I know what I'm doing. No. Mother, please don't do this. Warehouse is all along here. So those were all within earshot of the clock times I heard? Sure, it's got to be. You say Andrew the Apostle's right there. I figure 200-year-old clock tower. <laughs> the sound's got to carry at least that far. It's why all the warehouses I want to check are on this point. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Are you sure? Because I can do this by myself. No, you wouldn't know what to look for, Dad. Okay. No. Okay. Got the latest technology going there, huh? Got to. Jesse, no! No more guns! I am not losing you again! Angie, you are not going to lose me. It's okay. Put the gun down. I never want to see another gun. It's just a precaution. Why now? Angela, nobody wants to use them. Then why are you? Something is going on. Is somebody going to start talking to me? We think we might have found the place they took me to back then. See, he remembered something about where they held him, the sound of water and the sound of a clock tower. And Tad said this guy, Papel, the one that's in uh, Remy's date book, he's a huge drug honcho. So you're going back to the scene of the crime to find this man. Are we going to let the FBI know about this or just send you both in there to get killed? Good job, Raphael. Very creative. Put up everything we had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our friend Hover was a handsome guy, wasn't he? Before he died. Only thing we're missing is a, a current photograph, I think. You know, I could pull one off the surveillance videos from the hospital. No, forget that. No, we need a professional looking shot. Well, I could take a professional shot at Hubbard. We got plenty of time for that. First of all, Hubbard and my nephew Tad have to find the clues that I planted in Remy's date book. When do you think they'll get here? Should be any minute. You leaving? Yeah, I've got a date with a a very special woman. Mother, why are you doing this? The judge said you could start your sentence in three weeks. It's so much better this way. For who? Not, not for me. Listen, I don't want you to go to prison at all, but, but I mean, going this soon, this, this is too much, too fast. I'm not getting this right. Erica wants to go directly to prison from here. <sighs> Crazy, right? It's got to be killing Kimba. Yeah. Bianca wanted to fly here, but you told her not to. Of course not. It wasn't necessary. Erica, she's right. Why don't we take a minute to think about this? You see, this is why I didn't need to take a minute. I don't want you to descend on me. Please don't worry so much. That's what your mother wants. Leave her alone. Come on. You feel better now? Was justice served? Boy, the streets of Pine Valley are a lot safer now that you've locked up big bad Erica Kane. She's such a menace to society, right? Is that right, it? That's enough. Come on, I will have Kevin, order in my court. It's not worth it, all right? You don't want to get in trouble, too. Hey, you know what? With him in charge, that could probably happen. Your mother has thought this through. It'll be okay. Baby, we've been through this time and time again. I am not calling the police. Or the FBI. I can't trust them. Any of them. Well, then how about trusting me? I saw what they did to you. You, you. you still have the scars on your back. And now you want to walk back in there and give them what they want? Angela, it's over 20 years ago. They're probably long gone by now. And if not, we will be prepared. Well, I'm not. I already buried you once, Jesse, and it damn near killed me. Baby, we got to do this. I'm not going to let them come and find me here. Knowing they're out there, knowing my wife and kid are in danger, uh-uh, that, it's killing me. Baby, please, you gotta trust me. You gotta trust Tad. Go back to work, please. And I promise you, I will come back to you. I will. And I promise to make sure he keeps his promise. This is, com this is so completely asinine. It's gotta be done. Come, come here.
Can you promise me you're going to come back to me? You're going to come home to me? You know I will. You know I will. I see. Don't you dare let me regret this. If there is nothing further, counselors, court is adjourned. Erica, you'll be spending six months behind bars. How are you going to get through without losing your mind? Oh, just like everybody else does, just one day at a time. <laughs> is it true you'll be having gourmet meals flown in from a five-star restaurant? No, of course not. No, I'm just going to eat what all the other inmates eat. Look at her. She pretends it's such torture, but she lives for this stuff. But why did she always have to drag my dad into her drama? She didn't drag him in, though, Greenlee. Jack wanted to defend her. Yeah, well, he's always left high and dry in the end. I wish he would just move on with his life. Get rid of her once and for all. Is Kettle okay? Yeah, welcome to the jungle. She's doing all right. Took her by surprise, I guess. I just can't believe it. So, uh, she has volunteered to go straight to prison from here. I spoke to Ryan today. Really? Interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. I can't say that spending the his next six months in prison. Let's talk outside. Mr. Montgomery, did you advise your client to go to prison immediately? Nope, she came up with that one all on her own. Well, do you feel Miss Kane was unfairly judged because of her celebrity? You know what? Why don't you ask Mr. Woods that question? Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Woods! Oh, Mr. Woods! What do you say to that? You know, I think it's like I said all along. No matter how famous you are, or rich you are, or how many avid supporters you have, no one should be above the law. And that's that simple. Mr. Woods, this is Erica Kane. Here you go. About. It's hardly a simple case. Thank you. No, I, I think I'm so... You okay? Well. I'm fine. You're trying to someone uh, that is a high profile person. What can I do? But in this case, justice Nothing. was simply served. Because Josh and, 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 and Zach are going to oversee my business affairs, and, and Jack is going to oversee all my legal papers. Okay, well, there must be something that I can do. Did you expect Okay, there is one thing. You can take care of your boys and Zach. have an understanding going into it. Okay. And if Zach and Aiden are having private conversations, don't dismiss it. All right, look, you know, I know that you're worried about what happened between Aiden and me, but you don't have to be, okay? It's it's under control. Okay, so the only thing I have to worry about is Ryan? I don't want you worrying about anything but taking care of yourself. Honey, listen to me. They're going to come and take me away in a minute. This would be just the right time to just get it all out. Now, you tell me the truth. What truth? About you and Ryan in Los Angeles. What else happened? Does no one else believe me? I don't mean you have to give me the details, but don't keep any secrets from your husband. Mom, Zach was upset enough to find out that Ryan flew all the way out to L.A. to, to come see me. If he knew anything else, he would probably go ballistic. Well, with good reason. Who knows what, what Ryan might do next? What did you and Ryan talk about? Football. And how Arsenal's doing in the Premiership. And I warned him about Kendall. How do you respond? I think you got the message. Good. There'll be a little extra in your paycheck this week. I didn't just do it for you, sir. Greenlee's part of this, too. I know she is. Thanks for taking care of Ryan. What did you do to Ryan? Are we even in the right ballpark? I don't know. Come on, Jesse. The sixth warehouse we've been to. Does anything look familiar? Dad, it's been 20 years. All right, things change. Not exactly the kind of place I wanted to remember, either. Yeah, point taken. All right, come on, let's go. At least we can still see the clock tower. Hold it. Hold on. What is it? Dad, you should go. Oh, God, not again. Come on. This is just wrong. Hey, you, you didn't sign on Yes, I this. did. Stop doing this, Ted, all right? you got Knock it hurt. Off. Come on, man, be smart. Please. I am just turn hey, around do and me walk a favor. Away. Stop telling me what to do, okay, please? You've got a good life, Dad. You've got a wife, you've got a kid. Why would you want to jeopardize Because that? you've got a good life, too. And you can't get to it until we, we figure out what happened to you. And Jenny was right. Why you always got to have such a thick skull? This thick skull has kept me alive. All right. 
Yeah. It's a good thing, too. Come on, let's do this. 